This one is from Paul, and this is a good one. I have searched for an answer to these questions everywhere. I've ended up having to hire someone uh, because I couldn't work it out. I have known shape that I must I have a sculpted handle around. Let me show you what Paul sent. And knife handle. Okay? How do you, when you have something known and knife handle here and you want to sculpt something around it, how do you, when you have a known face, how the heck do you get to do that? Well, I couldn't help it to do it any other way, Paul, than open up uh, my knife that I modeled up uh, back in one of the last live streams. So that's, um, so, but let's just delete all this stuff. That was all that, delete that. So now we end up with kind of what you having. We're ending up with a, uh, a somewhat of a given shape that we now have to, uh, we want to use sculpt to kind of create the handles. So that's what we're going to do with this last one here. So we have the known shape and I actually modeled it up in a couple of different ways. That's why you see the shadow here. Um, I think I'm probably going to get some arrows if I make this. So I model up the handle in a couple of different ways. Here it was done without the, um, the sculpt and then the one I just deleted was the sculpt. Okay. How would I do this with the sculpt with known faces? I'm going to go in here, Paul. I'm going to say I'm going to jump into the sculpt environment. I am going to use this primitive box here. And um, I'm actually just going to it's going to kind of like draw. It doesn't matter really what plane you're drawing on, actually. This is kind of crazy. Uh, I'm going to draw up something that I think is going to be a hand looking like this. Um, and without exiting out of this, you can actually make some changes over here, which is kind of nice. Now, right now, Paul, what I'm doing here is just kind of um, taking a piece of clay, not worrying too much about anything at this point. Um, but I can start, of course, working on this. So maybe I'm looking at this and says, I want some different faces in here. That's probably better. But it's out of place. I get that. I'm going to hit OK. Uh, OK. So there we got like a bar of soap or clay or whatever. Let's move it into position. I'm going to highlight the whole thing. I'm going to right click and hit this edit form. Go to my right view. And uh, I, oh, I don't really want to scale it. I want to move it. I'm going to move it and scale it, apparently. Scale it up again. <laughs> I'm going to move this till I think it's somewhat about close to where I think I want to handle one. I actually going a little bit of past here, um, but that's okay. I'm going to place that there. Now, I know a couple of things with these kind of handles. I know that I want symmetry. I talked about that before, so I'm going to click here and click symmetry. I'm going to select them two faces up here, and that gives me this green line. That means anything I'm doing on this face will now also go on this face. What I mean by that is that if we now go ahead and select, let's hold down control and select four squares, right click and hit edit. If I pull in this handle, you will see that it's symmetrical, it pulls here. Okay? So you could start forming this handle now at whatever kind of shape you would like to do this knife handle in. And that really, of course, comes down to a lot of different things. Um, and I will tell you that um, the more, and I say this every time, but I'm gonna keep on saying it. The more time you're spending working uh, in here with your shape, the more you're gonna get something closer to you want what you want. And all this stuff, all this stuff, it's all part of interpretation. It's all about what you think could be a cool uh, shape, could be a cool thing for you to kind of work with. Um, however, what you think um, would fit very well for your knife. Okay, so you shape this. This is not the prettiest knife handle I probably have created. But you will see how, I hope that this somewhat makes sense, how I kind of like, you know, working with this um, in whatever kind of shape I maybe, I maybe want. Then I can select points. I can actually also select lines. Um, you saw here, I can select 
this line here instead of a point if I wanted to kind of try to create um, somewhere where my my hands some this is all about uh, making it as good as you want when you're done with this when you've gotten this where you think it's close you hit finish form and you now have this solid now I'm going to show you a couple of tricks one this is now two solids it is our knife handle I haven't changed and it's our body in here you could now go in and do something like split body I could select split body body to split is the handle that I made too far and I could use this face right here as my cutting if I do that and hit OK now you will see it up with three bodies this body five is actually kind of the top here if I right click on that hit remove now I just made this body completely flush with this plane that's pretty good the other thing I'm going to show you, and I've talked about this tool before, is the combine tool. If I select the combine tool, I select the target body as my handle. The tool body is the knife that has that bar going in there. Now, if I select cut, and I'm going to say I'm going to keep the, the tool, what is the knife handle? Hit OK. Nothing happened until I hide the knife handle. And you will now see I got a perfect shape in there of that that goes in there. Last thing I'm going to do, let me hide the knife handle again. I could go in and use this split body again and uh, maybe turn my origin on. I could select that body and split it with the plane. And if I'm going too fast, Paul, rewind back, see the clicks, watch it a few times. Now suddenly I've broken this down to a couple of different ones. I can now go in and sketch a circle for the screw hole or whatever I kind of want in here. Um, I hope this gives you a little bit of a better idea about how you can take something organic, you can take something like a knife that you already know, and you can turn this in to something that is worth doing yourself. Paul, I hope that was useful. That, if you like that, thumbs up. If you do not, thumbs down is okay. Leave me in the comments. And if you haven't subscribed, I really appreciate it. Folks, that is it 